Hey guys, and welcome back to the CTFC Perspective. That is right, another week, another match day, another match day vlog. Today, it's the start of a big weekend on the channel. Some would say the biggest weekend on the channel. It's a Friday midday game, Cheltenham versus Gillingham. We're back at the town. Obviously, Cheltenham haven't moved positions in their table 12th, and we're facing 21st place opposition. There's 16 points to split the sides. Obviously, Cheltenham on 54, Gillingham on 38. However, the last five games between the two sides sides have not really been that much different in the last five games both sides have got two draws two wins and one loss with Gillingham's last result being a 1-1 draw with Wickham Wanderers so you know I think the game could go either way it's nice to see that Gillingham doesn't have that many high scoring games typically one alls one nils or even nil nils so I can see the game possibly being a 2-1 win for Cheltenham this time I know I said that quite a bit but yeah, with all that said and done, it seems like it should be an exciting prospect. It's not going to be a sellout today, but still hopefully a few people will turn up for a Friday game. And if you haven't already, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button because it helps share the video around. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to join the family. We're just about to hit 1,100 and I believe 30 subscribers, so it's a big thing. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or queries, drop it down in the comment section. Let's get into the video. Before we do get into the video though, it's got to that part of the video where we do the bookies odds. They are on screen now. As you can see, Cheltenham by far the favourites. It's almost evens. 23 to 20 for a Cheltenham win, 9 to 4 for a draw, and 5 to 2 for a Gillingham win. So obviously Cheltenham are favourites. I'm always going to back the boys. Come on, let's get into the stadium. Being really late notice, there seems to be a way the crowd sell out, and also here are the lineups. Scrappy finish, but a good goal of that tap to pass the goalkeeper. At least the gentleman fell off certain the shout bugs in there already being relegated. Why is it 14 minutes in? We gotta at least get something back from this game now. Thank <laughs> you. 
first half has been pretty boring now, but Cheltenham took their one chance with a decent save. Obviously, Callum Wright with a tap in. He's had a few good skills, probably should have laid off before. Probably say fair to be a draw for the first half. Hopefully, we can make some changes in the second half. taking their chances, we've played terribly. The game is string two passes together. 25 minutes to go, can we get something back at least, possibly a point for this game? Second effort, Chatham pulled 90 minutes. It was a good, well worked set piece. Callum, I believe it was Callum Wright, got it to the goal corner. It was a decent whipping from Circum. Head up on the back post, whipped it in, and then Tete tapped it in. Decent goal. 10 minutes left, just don't concede now. Even though we played terribly, it's what we deserve. Dealing them have just been sat on the ground for the last 10 minutes. Every single one. I don't know why but uh, Foyle hasn't headed that goal once. Well, that's probably the last chance of the game. 89th minute played, he's decided to keep it going. We don't want to shoot. 2-2, two, two, one minute to go. Hopefully there's a few minutes added. Oh, that's, that's heartbreaking to be fair. Even though we haven't played very well, these last 10 or 15 minutes or so, we've actually really switched gear. But uh, it looks like it's going to end too well. I mean, I expected a few minutes added time, but we've got seven, so something could actually happen. <laughs> We can't really say anything other than it was a lacklustre performance from Charlton Town. We've seen a lot better, but we've also seen a lot worse. For that game to have four goals, it was quite surprising. Quite boring from start to finish. The goals themselves weren't that bad, though, and it's pretty fair play to Charlton for coming back, obviously, on both occasions. But to see Cheltenham taking only a point from this game is really, really depressing, if I'm being honest. Sadly for me to say, this is my last game at Cheltenham in a very long time. The last game at One Road, 
My next Cheltenham game for the season will be on the 30th, Cambridge United away. Other than that, we've got a few big games coming up. Obviously, this Sunday, the FA Cup semi-final. Trying to get that covered for you. This Monday, we're in Cardiff. Then on the 23rd, we are in Birmingham. And also on the 30th, we are back in Cambridge. So here, there and everywhere on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it slightly more than I enjoyed creating it. But obviously, I always enjoy making videos for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, if you want to smash that like button, help share the video around. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when the video goes live. Any questions or queries, please leave it in the comment section. I'll try and answer every single one of them. And get all your treats and all your treats and all desired goodies from Candy Line. The link is in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.